the trap. Shout out to the trappers. We all back lit. It's the other Henny Man Battle Rap Trap, and we definitely got the street. Before we go any further, I want to make sure I remind everybody Endgame is going down today, powered by Bullpen Battle League, headlined by John John the Don versus Cassidy. We got Bad News versus T Rex, Clone versus Tay Rock, Shavrak versus Jazz the Rapper, Loso versus Serge Jones, Reggie P versus Danny Myers, all available for pay per view. And if you're in the Atlanta area, you could probably pull up and still get in paying at the door. So make sure you support this event. This is a a major event and from what i understand it's gonna lead to even more major things for the culture all right let's get into this all right yesterday i did a blog in the blog i mentioned the situation with merlo versus hitman a lot of people in the comments said they wanted me to do a separate blog on that whole spill out i had to sleep on it but i decided to go ahead and do the blog since they actually picked it up this morning i figured i'd just go ahead and get into it now if you don't know merlo he's an up-and-coming battle rapper out of chicago apparently he had quite a few opportunities that ended up not going his way now i guess bags and bodies was one of them he was going back and forth with some of the people from Bags and Body Season 1 and 2, namely Gorilla Monsoon, I it's believe. Important to add that Merlo also is always in the spaces with Averb. So he takes to Twitter and says, I ain't picking sides with none of these old N-words. All these old N-words front like they life better than what it is. Everybody tough. Man, go listen to old rap. And young battlers now, these old N-words been taking raps and recycling. Y'all just don't be a hundred. It's just entertaining to me. Now Snake Eyes, of course, repping Bags and Body, says, bro, you were supposed to be Bags and Body Season too. Don't forget, and words definitely vouch for you. Now, why you ain't come? That's different. Merlo responds to Snake Eyes and says, I ain't said nothing about Hitman, even though all y'all came out that house yelling like girls, Merlo, Hitman hate you, especially Gorilla. I was in the crucible at the time. They said I can't do both. Go get the clout and bounce. Tell them I couldn't do it. I don't know what Holler was told. Merlo pretty much implying that the people over there at URL told him to go do the things qualified to make it into the house and then tell Hitman Holler, yeah, nah, it's not happening. Hitman responds to Merlo and says, and words ain't tell me nothing about you. I don't F with you for how you you played me. I paid for your flight. You came up with an excuse on why you missed the flight. I paid for another flight and you missed that one as well. And I never heard from you again. So therefore I heard you loud and clear. Merlo responds with, I said, I can admit I went about it the wrong way. They was pushing me to come beat Gotti. Let you say I'm in the crib and tell you now nah, I'm good. Once again, basically saying that people at URL allegedly told him go ahead, do the things to get into the house and then say, nah, I can't do it. Hitman takes his timeline. He says, I don't know Merlo. Never met him or nothing. He no showed the battle I had booked on Bags and Bodies. I paid for two flights to get him to the battle. And he missed both and never reached back out to me. So I said, cool, and kept pushing. I ain't lose no sleep. Merlo responds to that and says, in word, they told me not to F with you. I was 19 and I don't regret going on Love and Hip Hop. Shout out to you, bro, on my kids. I ain't never hit you for nothing. No battle rap, no nothing. I ain't losing sleep either. In word, is you crazy? I'm gonna keep it real. I don't understand the Love and Hip Hop reference right there. Is he calling a league love? Love and hip hop, or was he actually on the show Love and Hip Hop? I'm not sure. Merlo also says, I've been good and I'm hotter than everybody on bags and bodies for real. Shout out to you though. Hitman Holler responds and says, You hotter than Yogi, Dollar, Capo, KD, Snake. J2, you never had a culture hot as Green Ranger, etc. Laugh out loud. Keep doing your thing though. Merlo responds and says, Yogi, KD. Capo. Hey, Hitman, we ain't gonna know they true talent until you drop the raps and not just the flights, laugh out loud. Stop getting clout off them and really show your people some love. Hitman posts a screenshot with the caption, stop getting clout off, huh? You could go search this ish, bro. Are you okay? And he posts all the numbers, you know what I'm saying? You see a battle with 22K, 114K, 34K, 47K, 52K. These are all bags and bodies. Artists like J That Guy, J2, Aon, Jala, people like that. Then Hitman takes his timeline and says, as it's events coming up. I'm popping up to all of them to support. I'm paying full price to get in them. And I'm paying for the pay-per-view. And I'll be outside after the event over to holler at anyone that got any misunderstandings with me. You know, type of N-word I am. Merlo responds to that and says, I got a battle in Chicago in November. Pull up and support then. Merlo says on his timeline, Hitman went and told all them from their Bags and Bodies group chat to attack, and them animals did it. I should throw Puppy Chow all around this mud effort. Verb sees this and says, in a group chat, man, this is insane, bro. It's only jumping with him, nothing else. Merlo says, Verb, this N-word just start tweeting me. I'm like, if I do to this N-word, man, what the F? Now, Easy sees all this going on. He sees Hitman holler respond to Merlo, talking about the flights and all that. Easy responds and says, laugh out loud, this N-word missed the flight. We 
had for him to laugh out loud on the trenches. Damn, cuz, how you F up your hitman and easy opportunity? Merlo responds with, I'm good over here, champ. Easy responds by saying, respectfully, if me and hitman say it's over for you, it's gonna be very hard, my guy. Relax yourself. Now, Merlo responds to this tweet with, with all disrespect, push the button, N-word. Like, right now, I'm 21 and I rap good. I'm from the Midwest, too. You N-words got 35-year-old rookies. Shut up, N-word. Everybody know you a B-word. Hitman responds to Easy saying that he missed the flight on the trenches, too, by saying laughing emojis. Crazy. Let's see how that go for him, Easy. We gonna sit back and watch him work. Merlo responds to Easy saying respectfully, if me and Hitman say it's over for you, it's gonna be very hard, by saying it's some hating ass ish. You got 35-year-old rookies over there. What is this culture coming to? Laughing emojis. Easy responds and says, I really don't care about you. I just speak hypothetical. Merlo says, you a hater and you always been a hater. That's one character trait you show the most. I can give you that. You a consistent clown. Merlo writes on his page, help your N-words, holiday They starving. When you coming to Chicago, though, I seen you say you coming to events. We got one next month. Pop out. Hitman Holler responds and says, I be all over the shot. I love it there. A family from the low end to the wild hunters over east, too. So for sure. Then Hitman takes to his timeline and says, I'm the same me in person. Always remember that now mind y'all i just gave y'all the microwave version because it was actually way more tweets than that but i used the ones that i thought could tell the actual story then we wake up this morning and hitman takes to his twitter and says culture tolerates so much disrespect it's insane as long as you one of their favorites they're gonna move the goalposts every time now, that was late last night after cassidy no showed the john john face off merlo actually responded to that around 1 a.m and said yeah like you did to me all day hitman responds this morning and says bro i don't know if you be trolling or what's to you but do you know I spent money on you and never met you and you wasted my time without even reaching out to me again? I had to cancel a battle. You said you was 19. Cool. But stop acting like I'm out for you. I don't know you, bro. And I don't play games. No response to that and says, in words, you know what's up. You know they was playing ball. Capo was in the same class as me. And they told him the same thing. Stop capping. Man responds and says, capping? In word, I don't effing know you. And I didn't know Capo at the time. Tell he battled on my platform. Bro, I don't know who you think I am, but I'm not none of them other in words you be trolling. I'm done rapping with you. Tell me in person. Merlo says, bro, please come to Chicago. Then Hitman says, only in battle rapper N-word to try to troll you after you done extended a handout to help a career without even knowing him. It's be weird as hell. I literally lost 1500 in flight money on the N-word I ain't never met. And he got the nerve to tweet like I'm hating on him. All right, look, I'm gonna just go ahead and say my piece, man. I usually don't get my opinions in these blogs, but this seemed like a fixable situation. This seemed like a situation where you got a young boy, very young minded. I got to say Merlo seems very young minded. He's also getting information from other people about an individual. He's saying that people from Bags and Bodies is telling him that Hitman said this and Hitman said that. This is something I always said in my life, man. If they ain't saying it to me, then they ain't saying it at all. Because at the end of the day, people could be giving you misinformation. Or that person could have very well said it, but said it to people that they trusted and didn't think was going to run back and tell you. I say that respectfully to everybody in the Bags and Bodies house because I don't know who said what. On the same end, I can understand why Hitman feels a little offended if I put money out to try to invest in your career, then I would expect you not to just go ahead and publicly throw shade on my name or whatever. Merlo feels like he's doing it because people said that Hitman said this, that, or the other. Hitman just sees what he sees and he responds to that like, hold up, why would you do this publicly? And now we here, but nothing has really went too far. It ain't really been no disrespectful words. Now the situation with him and Easy, it was a little bit of disrespectful words. And it also shows that Merlo has a pattern. These are big opportunities that you messing up. You got the trenches, you got bags and bodies. I'm not sure what happened with you at the Crucible, but clearly you not rocking with URL if you pretty much throwing them under the bus saying, yo, they was trying to get me to dog y'all. Lalo is a very talented individual. He young, he wild, and he might live exactly what he rap about, but you gotta understand, you can still be you outside of battle rap, but in battle rap, you gotta be a character version of you. You can't just be this, I'm super street, I'm gonna mess up every event, I wanna fight everybody, I don't care about nobody believing in me, I ain't got no loyalty to nobody but myself type person. You can be, but it's not gonna get you very far in this culture. I say all of this respectfully. Y'all let me know if I'm I'm wrong let me know what y'all think in the comments it's battle rap trap we got the streets i got a lot on my mind got the heart of a line money matches crash the whip and just the thought of them dying police is a signs because we on the grind keeping an eye because these hating niggas tend to be on our line see the potential they see how i shine see how i move they hear how i rhyme i ain't stopping till i'm dead out of time had a daughter but i'm scared of my mind got a lot to explain so i still be on the block when it rain why these niggas throwing rocks in my name i'm just aiming at the top of my game trying to prosper my lane if a nigga cross over i'm a high sauce him. a lot of bread on the market but we not boss Move with a lot of problems, but we not Austin. It's 
stall, I go when let's stop stalling Niggas hoes, they open, won't stop talking Bitches go, they ocean, it's not awesome Open toes and skinny clothes, you not flossing Moving like you been undefeated, you got losses Meanwhile, I'm playing defense, I got flawless Conversation with OGs and top bosses 23 and 1, trying to sit through lunch He been homeless, been in prison, look how he become They know he the one they want to see him done, but if it's prize, we gon' solve him, ain't no need to run. But if it's prize, we gon' solve him, ain't no need to run. Ain't no need to run. Ain't no need to run. But if it's prize, we gon' solve him, ain't no need to run. Keep a roll with my young hitters, that's number one. I thought the young, the young understand where I'm coming from. Stop the ones, I run it up to the summer down. Murray to the streets, jump a bruise and tuck a couple buns. War time, we front line, but let you slide. We got bread to get, and you gon' apologize. Bitch, nigga, I talk slow, my young, young, she breaking down the dialogue, cause they tryna feed their hunger. Seeing rivers in the sky reminded me of Stevie Wonder. We in the trap, send the guy was straight out the dumpster. I. Hell now nah, we at the bomb shit, breaking down bros like we on some Donkey Kong shit. Step in your lane, niggas ducking every conflict. I don't even see why niggas stay up in that nonsense. OG shit, they got me OE back. Nigga, Shocky, I gon' rock, no secret. Might shoot a jump at your cock, it's you decent. Hate to have to run up on your block and make you decent. Fall back, you niggas ain't all that. Had to get in all black and aim with the skull cap. Ah.